we say fellas uh, I just want to show you um, my first experiment with this cell and system uh, the system works fine and would work a lot better if I had a bigger cell I knew this from the get-go but uh, what we got here is a uh, about a 10 inch tall tank uh, my water level is to here now I ran this for close to four hours yesterday probably used like two cups of water maybe I don't know um, uh, yeah, started out with um, distilled white vinegar ran it for a while uh, got very low production but it's I'd say it's because this little guy right here just was not spitting out near enough uh, hydrogen <laughs> yeah. it, it, anyway it's, it's real small it has like nine fender washers on it on uh, stainless steel studs I need considerably more than that and I ran this through um, with a battery charger on 10 amps um, I think it was only drawing like two and it'd work its way up to six and then it'd work its way back down to like one and a half um i didn't have any major leaks this morning though i've noticed that there's a little bit of leakage right here i screwed this tap job up and need to uh just thread in the next biggest size and reduce it down to this little quarter inch guy but um it was pretty neat uh, it had a little heartbeat this was setting thump uh the tsunami tsunami water uh, pumps are real quiet i was real surprised and it did a good job it circulated this stuff the bubbles came out and you could see them come up through there and all um you can see all my other lines are extra clean super dry um there's my little bubbler unit that you can get my results in um Let's see, uh, you can see I don't have a flash protector on this side. I didn't light this at all yesterday. It was just, uh, uh, it's kind of two or three tests in one. Uh, I was just uh, kind of in a hurry and wanted to do something. Just wanted to do something. So, anyway, got uh, the water being circulated out of the bottom of this through the pump through the cell back up and out right back into it if you keep the water level low in this it doesn't foam up and come out into your dryer cell this thing's oh, only a couple inches tall like five inches tall maybe uh, just put it down in there because this stuff is so hard that it forces it to uh, it goes where it wants so anyway you got uh, the hose come down I got flash arrester right here um, and you got the old bubbler, bubbles through, uh, it has a, um, one of these hoses going down in this first one to bubble through the water, and when it comes out, it comes out, goes in the bottom, comes out the side here, you get a little bit less water in this one than in this one, it's a pressure issue. Um, Okay, and then right out. So today I'm gonna try to build a, another flash arrester, put it right here. Um, uh, Don's gonna sell me some fender washers. I could go to Lowe's and get some, but I don't want to. I want Don's washers. <laughs> Sign them, Don. Okay, what's your autograph? Okay, back to the issue here. Uh, I'm going to build a bigger cell. So, uh, I guess um, that's about it for the day. Uh, I might post this later or something. I have no idea. I haven't got a chance to test off, uh, blow up my pop-off valve because I wasn't even producing enough freaking gas to light it. Uh, somebody suggested the, um, I think, Luther P 
suggested I try with uh, build a cell with some um, light plates. I might do that. I might do that. I'm going to build a SID cell type deal. Also, I'm going to build uh, several more of these. And what's cool is I can just link them up it's right in here. Disconnect the cell, kind of quick, quick disconnect type deal and throw it into the system. This system ought to be able to handle about as much gas as you can pump through it. Uh, as much gas as you would be able to produce. This little tiny system here ought to keep the gas dry. And uh, three lines of defense here for flashback ought to do it. But I'm going to go ahead and put a small flash protector on the outside of this thing and probably a pressure release valve on top of this. Also, just for... Uh, something to do uh, let's see another thing on the spark arresters I hear not to put them in tool dip uh, what I've got here this blue stuff is heat shrink uh, I had threaded this um, uh, compression coupling up inside of this tube and it adapts up to a larger deal there just because I screwed that up and had to go back in and retap it all right um let's see what else i guess she got up to about 120 yesterday it really actually stayed kind of cool even on four hours worth running i ended up putting um, uh, some baking soda in with a gallon of water like i don't know three quarters of a tablespoon i think or something i don't i don't remember um okay so that's that's about it for the day. Uh, I'm gonna try to build something better than this, and um, we'll get back with you. Well, if you got any recommendations, <laughs> which I'm sure everybody's everybody can put in two cents worth on this one, but um, uh, the system seems pretty stable. Uh, the pump works. It all flows good, stirs up the electrolytes. Um, well, that's it for the day. Oh, uh, almost hydrogen. Congratulations on your new dual bubbler. I like that thing. Let's um, try to get out an explosion test on that thing. I want to see, try to blow it up. All right. Uh, also, uh, if you want to visit hhohuntsville.com. Uh, Don will be on there this evening uh, answering your hydrogen questions. Uh, if you have anything new you've discovered and want to go on there and post it live, broadcast, um, check it out. It's Ustream TV. Um, you might be able to find it through there too, but hhohuntsville.com is where you need to go for your HHO type questions, forums, and uh, all that. So, have a good day. Over and out.